Hey guys, it's Finlux here, back with our semi-blind playthrough of Morrowind. So last time we got Keening, which I thought was pretty... It was interesting. Um, we have it equipped now. Now I'm curious. Supposedly we take constant damage if we take Wraithguard off. Yeah, Keening has dealt you a mortal wound. <gasps> there you go. It's very interesting. That is strange, but then again, it's probably like... It's probably similar to Moon and Star, right? Maybe it's... Um, Keening is only supposed to be used by Kagranak, for example. I think Moon and Star was made by Kagranak as well, so that would make sense. Uh, all right. So my thought is... There's basically two places left to go. Veminol and Terrenol. Terrenol. Excuse me. Um, I think the only one that's specifically required is this one to get Sunder, and then you go face Dagoth Ur. But I want to explore this one at least today, and then maybe we'll also do... My, my thought, I sort of was thinking between, you know, in the couple minutes between s starting this one and finishing the last one, and I'm kind of just like, you know what, we may as well... May as well just kind of finish it up. I don't think I'll do it today, but well, you never know. We'll see if we can do these two today, and then maybe Dagoth or who knows? Who knows? Um, oh, also, I guess right. Heart rhyme, heart fire, like the heart chamber. So is there going to be a heart thunder? Hmm. Or is there four of them? That's the question. I don't know. Cast when used, though. All right, well, let's, you know, let's figure this out. I guess you don't need to have these on you. They're just symbols of your thing you know all right let's uh let's go we want to get back to okay well how do we get back there first Aldrune. Aldrune is probably the fastest way and then just behind behind the thing and up over the wall oh wonderful welcome outlander you know I really wonder if I really wonder if a remake of this today would try and would try and uh, dramatize dramatize the whole thing. You know what I mean? Oh my God! The ghost fence came down. How terrible! You know, it's like. It doesn't need to be like that. I mean, the thing the thing about this is yes, it's not fully it's not fully expressed. But there's definitely the whole point is it's supposed to be this creeping danger. Is this a uh, stamina? Stamina amulet? Yes. It's supposed to be this creeping danger, not an immediate threat necessarily. It's, you know, for Vivek and for the people, this is something that's pat been happening for. Wait, are they back? This is something that's been happening for. Oh well, I'm going the wrong way. That's that's why. Something that's been happening for, you know, a hundred years couple hundred years. As long as these people have been alive, this has been happening. 
Yeah, gotta say the extra 50 of attack. Pretty huge. Alright, where's my boots? Straight up. Up and away. Up, up and away. Superman. And then, uh... That's not where we're going. Surprised this is holding out as long as... There we go. Oh, let's, uh, let's save. Okay. I figure... I don't know. Like, I, I was thinking... A few episodes ago, I was thinking, like, put off doing this. Then... Then my thought was... Wait, are we getting attacked? Of course. Then my thought was, no, let's do it 50-50, half and half or whatever. And now I'm just kind of like, you know, maybe we should just get it out of the way. So to speak. And, um... Not sure I want to go this way, but we'll see where it goes for now. Are we getting attacked? Oh, yes. By what else? By that guy? Probably. All right, it was it was that one. I'm sure it's going to be this dude too. But yeah, now my thought is let's let's finish the main quest. And then... And then move on to the, uh... DLC. See, this is weird. Why, um... Well, I mean, this isn't going the right way. This is going near where the shrine is supposed to go. Yeah, I can understand. Oh yeah, this definitely increases our speed as well. Did I search the hunger? I think so. Alright. Yeah, I don't know. It's, um... It was just one of those things where it's like, I want to see... I want to see... I want to talk to Dagoth Ur. That's kind of the big... The big thing for me. You know, see if he has any thoughts about... Nerevar... Nerevar Reborn. Any thoughts on what really happened? That sort of thing.
Yeah, gotta be honest, getting around here would be kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, there it goes. Without the Boots of the Apostle. Or Amulet of Levitating or, or something, you know? So which tower was it? It must have been that one. What are we getting attacked by now? I don't know, it's probably that cliff racer that I saw. I don't know why I did that to be honest. I didn't need to, but it's fine. Let's just go north. We're still getting... Okay, it's out of range. How high can you go? Oh, I see that guy. I see all these guys. Oh, what's attacking us now? Or what? Oh, okay. You can't use the word lame anymore. That's racist. <laughs> you know, I'm not I'm not gonna be surprised at all you know it's it kind of blows me away a little bit too oh we're we're falling the whole I remember when not your personal army was a big thing because you have all these people and I still see wait where to go oh it's there I still see stuff online today where it's like this person, so-and-so, go harass them or whatever. It's like, why? You know, like, why would I do that? Oh, there's the dude. Okay, well, where's my witch charm? I don't know if that's the one. Okay, that worked. Short blade skill increase, baby. Okay, so that was... the dude. And all they leave behind is some ash salts. This must have been the thing from before that was triggering our battle music. Kagranex Library, okay. Fair enough. Uh, where is... do the Lord's Mail, maybe. Ch 
Chop, chop away. Chop them good. Ash ghoul, bam. Ascended sleeper, take that. You know. Okay, where's the cliff racer? I wonder if you can sort of. Oh, there it is. If you can, um. If you can, uh. So my understanding is Ascended Sleepers and Golden Saints are some of the, are basically the best souls you can capture, but I wonder if you can level yourself, not out of them, because they just, my understanding is the, the leveling, it adds them to a pool of random, of whatever the encounter is, but. Okay, hang on, where, where the hell does this go? Where does this connect to? Let's find out. We gotta keep going. We're gonna spend 20 minutes just running around fighting cliff racers and walking the paths. But, uh. I'm surrounded by a sea of winged flesh. Doesn't even make sense. Really? Oh. That was it? Or at least it was. Now what? Oh, that one. Oh, okay, well... Wait, sorry, where where did the dude go? Oh, there he is. Whoa, whoa. No, that's the cliff racer. Ash slave. Oh. He's just looking at you with evil in his heart. That kind of reminds me of, uh, is that alive? Nope, it's dead. Reminds me of a quote from, uh, Legend of Mana, which has some really fantastic writing, by the way. It, uh, the whole thing, what is it? Captain Tusk? He's a walrus. He's the captain of a pirate ship, and the pirates are all penguins. And, uh, they kidnap a centaur for ransom. And, and the, it's funny because the pirates are actually good. They're, they're almost like little kids that want to be pirates, you know? Uh, so the, He's like, what are we going to do with the horse? One of the penguins asks. And Captain Tusk's like, you know, we're going to sell him for a bunch of money. So I, I don't know if the indication is sell him into slavery or sell him because he's a horse into the, the glue factory or just whatever. Collector. I don't know. Who knows? And uh, the, uh, the penguin's like, wow, Captain, you're a real baddie. He's like, listen, Penguin. We have, you know, pirates have both good and evil otters in their hearts. And he's like, um, otters, Captain? He's like, that's right. And right now, the evil otter is clattering seashells inside my heart. It's, it's, it's just so adorable. It's an adorable game. It just makes me happy. All right. Oh. All right, so now that it's all dark, 
let us... Where is it? This one? Ring of the Hortator. Bam. And Ring of the Wind. Yeah, Ring of the Wind too. Then we'll do Thong of Zainab. Because I want to know where all... Okay. We have at least three enemies. Eye of Tom Y. Bladder of Kovis. I'm getting some... Oh, really? I have Tom Y, so it's the, the tower. There's got to be another one in here. I'm just going to go for this dude first. Because I heard something explode first. No, maybe not. Digoth Galmus. Oh, and I did take a look. Oh, there you go. Digoth Galmus is key. And, uh... The one at the first Kagranek study or whatever, there was the Dagoth, whatever, the other Ash Vampire there. And it was named, it's just missing the Endrosol. It was Darth... Darth Endris. It's Dagoth Endris. All right. Okay. Warhammer boots. Well, okay. That's underwhelming. Underwhelming. Fortify health. Sure, we'll take the diamond. Not the scrap metal. Was that emerald and frost salts? Okay, diamond, glass. No, okay. Not the greatest, but it's, you know, it's something. And then what about through here? I have Dugan. Or Duggan. I think that explosion is him using the the amulet. Okay. Dagoth Falls. Dagoth Falls key. Black lichen. Rat meat. Wrapped corpus meat. That's really small though. Alright, let's check. I don't know if I'm ready for this one. 36 Lessons of Vivek, Sermon 10. Short blade knowledge, nice. You've discovered the 10th Sermon of Vivek, which was hidden in the words that came in the aftermath to the Hortator. The Evoker shall raise his left hand empty and open to indicate he needs no weapons of his own. The coming forth is always hidden, so the Evoker is always invisible, or better, in the skin of his enemies. Dark. The eyelid of the kingdom shall fill thirty and six folios, but the eye shall read the world. By this the Hortator needs me to understand. The sword is an impatient signature. Write no contracts on the dead. Vivek said unto the Hortator, remember the words of Boathia. It's supposed to be Boathia, the one Daedric Prince, though. We pledge ourselves to you, the frame maker, the scarab, a world for us to love you in, a cloak of dirt to cherish. Betrayed by your ancestors when you were not even looking. Ori Magnus and his ventured opinions cannot sway the understated. A trick worthy of the always satisfied. A short season of towers, a rundown absolution. And what is this? What is this but fire under your eyelid? Shift ye in your skin, I say to the Trenimac eaters. Pitch your voices into the color of bruise. Divide ye like your enemies in houses and lay your laws in set sequence from the center. Again, like the enemy corners of the House of Troubles and see yourself thence as timber or mud slats or sheets of resin. Then do not divide, for yet is the stride of Sithisit quicker than the rush of enemies, and he will sunder the hole for the sake of a shingle. It's really, that that's really biblical sounding, like very Bible-like scripture, you know? For we go different and in thunder, Sithisit is the start of all true houses built against stasis and lazy slaves. Turn from your predilections, broken like false maps. Move and move like this, quicken against false fathers, mothers left in corners weeping for glass and rain. Stasis asks merely for nothing, for itself, which is nothing, as you were in the eight everlasting imperfections.
Vivek says under the Hortator, remember the words of Vivek. Understand that Sethisit still travels. Vivek says under the Hortator, remember the words of Vivek. In a phosphorescent mirror of the sky. Vivek says under the unto the Hortator, remember the words of Vivek. Drowned and smiling. Vivek says under the Hortator, remember the words of Vivek. Intermittent hopes enough. Vivek says under the Hortator, remember the words of Vivek. The answer to all the things, Vivek says unto the words. Under the Hortator, remember the words of Vivek. Not yet queried. Weird uh, programming language thing, I guess. The ending of the words is Almsivi. All right, we got some ash salts. Those are always interesting. Let me guess, this is requires the key? Yes. Ornate Dwemer Goblet. All right, and a bunch of uh, other stuff. Dwemer artifacts, basically. And all these are precious gems and or scrap metal. Oh, we got ebony, eh? Can you do... No, that's weird. So scrap metal is like the ebony of something. I don't know. All right, so we went up there. We did that. So all that's left is to... Hey, buddy. How you doing? It used a little thingamabob. Uh, hmm. Wow, look at all these. Black Mind on Touch. Did that work? I don't know. No, I still... Well... Because it did something. See, like, right there. It, it used whatever. You know? All right, Dagoth Molos. What's, uh, what sees me? It's probably through the door. Oh, hey, there he is. Well, that's not good. Is that one facing backwards? Yeah, I'd rather just fight them one at a time. I saw it, it said Dagoth something. Short blade increased, awesome. Turinol, yeah. Amulet, amulet of heart thrum. Maybe thunder related, magicka. Jesus, 40 points. Spell absorption, lightning shield. That's five as well. Resisted magic, that's awesome. And an ascended sleeper. All right, cool. Wow, lots of books. Oh my god, so many books. Well, yeah, this is the library, right? Heavy Dwemer desk, locked and trapped, but... Kagranax plan book. Okay. Contents of this handwritten journal are an unfamiliar script in an unknown language. There are many complex diagrams, heavily annotated with numbers and strange symbols. Title page, however, is clearly marked in Ald, in Ald Aldmeris, Kagranax plan book. So is there old, like Ald as in old, like old English? Parchment with scrawlings. I've seen this before. Uh, knows the names and the naming, all that stuff. Do I take it? I guess. Do we take these books? Oh, Telvani Mole Crab Helm. Glass Greaves. I, I would say yes, take all the books. Oh man, more, more sermons of Vivec. I mean, that's cool, but I'm tired of reading. 
bladder of Clovis. What's on the other side? Chitin short sword. Bladder. They're both bladder of Clovis. Okay. Um. Just run in and start stabbing the MFR in the face. Bladder of Clovis because it's the waterworks, but um, okay. Man, all the six house amulets. Is there anything in there? I wonder. Okay, so that's to the other side, yep. Then we have Mendel Eves. She's wearing, I mean, she's wearing glass stuff. Cleaver of St. Felms. Uh, no, no, no. There is a St. Felms. Okay, well. Man, here's the... I bet this is a temple. You think this is a temple quest? Great. Where they're like, hey, go in there and get this. And I'm just like, crap. Because I bet I found some of those in the past and sold them. All right, let's go in here. We'll see what the deal is. I don't... Netch Leather Tower Shield. I mean, that's cool and all, but I don't think I'm going to take it. And how do you get out of here? Are you basically screwed if you don't have a levitation or something? Okay, how do I... Oh, no, never mind. I see. Well, now I'm stuck. Okay. The ending of the words is Elm Civi. I'm levitating, but there we go. Okay. Oh, it, it went away. Good. Um, all right, well, we'll, we'll get the, we'll get the axe. Awesome. Okay, so what we're going to do is crap. That's the mark ring. I need... Seriously though, how many of those sainted things have I saved? I don't need any of these. Over encumbered, yeah, I know. But all these, you know, biography of Baron Zion, all that bone. Part two. I'll just take them. That way you don't have to worry about it. And and that way if I come across a Vivek. See, this doesn't make sense though. Why would Kagranak have this library? How old are these books? 
You know what I mean? Exactly. Okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we're we're basically hosed. Cantatas of Ibec. Chronicles of Nikuleft. Athletic skill. All right. 36 Lessons of Vec, Sermon 31. Many more years passed in Rizdanya, and the high priest of the Dwemer were almost ready to make war on the rulers of Veloth. The Hortator had become the husband of Ayem during this time, and the first saint of the Triune Way. Vivek had tired of fighting his sons and daughters, and so took a respite from trying to find them. The Hortator said to his wife, Where is Vivek, my teacher? I love him still, though he grows cold. His lamentations, if I may call them that, have changed the skin of the whole country. He is hardly to be found anywhere in Veloth of late. The people grow dark because of it. And A.M. took mercy on her troubled husband and told him that the Sword of the Triune had been fighting minor monsters stirred up by the Dwemer as they worked on their brass siege machines. She took the Hortator inside her and showed him where his master was. Okay. Almsivi, or at least that aspect that chose to be Vivek, sat in the litany hall of the false thinking temple after his battle with the flute and pipe ogres of the west gash he began writing again in his book of hours he had to put on his water face first that way he could separate the bronze of the old temple from the blue of the new and write with happiness oh that makes sense because he's half bronze half blue okay second he had to take another feather from the big moon further rendering it dead that way he could write about mortals with truth. Third, he recalled the pomegranate banquet, where he was forced to marry to Bolag Mall with wet scriptures to cement his likeness as Mafala and write with black hands. So he's also Mafala? What a mad lad. Or narcissist, whichever. He wrote, Last time I heard his voice showing the slightest sign of impatience, I learned to control myself and submit to the will of others. Afterwards, I dared to take on the sacred fire and realize there was no equilibrium with the Atada. They were liars, lost roots, and the most I can do is be an interpreter into the rational. Even that fails the needs of the people. I sit on the mercy seat and pass judgment, the waking state, and the phase aspect of the innate urge. Only here can I doubt in this book, written in water, brought in to include evil. Then Vivek threw his ink on this passage to cover it up, for the lay reader, and wrote instead, Find me in the blackened paper, unarmored in final scenery. Truth is like my husband, instructed to smash. Filled with procedure and noise, hammering, weighty, heaviness made a schematic. Lessons learned only by a mace. Let those that hear me then be buffeted, and let some die in the ash from the striking. Let those that find him, find him murdered by illumination, pummeled like a traitor's house. Because, if an hour is golden, then immortal, I am a secret code. I am the partaker of the doom drum, chosen of all those that dwell in the middle world to wear this crown, which reverberates with truth, and I am the mangling messiah. The ending of the words is Elm Sivy. Yeah, this is uh, definitely drug-fueled. Oh god, another lesson of Vivek. Telvani mole crab helm. Two more. Where's my mark ring? There's still a bunch over there. My god, look at all of them. And I'm tired. I am tired. If I... okay. Nope, blunt weapon skill. I was like, maybe... I was like, maybe I haven't read this one. 
or maybe I have read this one. <clears throat> Wonderful. Being blind, the Nechiman's wife wandered into a cave on her way to the domains of House Indril. It so happened this cave was a Dwemeri stronghold. The Dwemer spied the egg and captured the Nechiman's wife. They bound her head to foot and brought her deep within the earth. She heard one say, go and make a simulac simulacrum of her and place it back on the surface, for she has something akin to what we have, and so the Velothi will covet it and notice if she's gone or if she's too long away. In the darkness, the Nechiman's wife felt great knives try to cut her open. When the knives did not work, the Dwemer used solid sounds. When those did not work, great heat was brought to bear. Nothing was of any use, and the egg of Vivek remain, remained safe within her. Oh, okay, the egg... Okay, this is like... the whole... Zeus, maybe, or... Or Jesus, God, whatever, where he impregnates a woman and she gives birth to him. Weirdness. A Dwemer said, nothing is of any use, we must go and misinterpret this. Vivek felt that his mother was afraid and so consoled her. The fire is mine, let it consume thee and make a secret door at the altar of Padholm. In the house of Boathia, where we become safe and looked after. This old prayer made the Nechman's wife smile and begin such a deep sleep that when Dwemeri Atronox returned with cornered spheres and cut her apart, she did not wake and died peacefully. Jesus Christ. Vivek was removed from her womb and placed within a magical glass for further study. To confound, well, so he didn't save her, he just melt, made her feel better before they cut her apart. Okay. To confound his captors, he channeled his essence into love, an emotion the Dwemer knew nothing about. The egg said, Love is not used only as a constituent in moods and affairs, but also as the raw material from which relationships produce hour later exasperations, regrettably fashioned restrictions, riddles laced with affections known only to the loving couple, and looks that linger too long. Love is also an often used ingredient in some transparent verbal and nonverbal transactions where, eventually, it can sometimes be converted to a variety of true devotions, some of which yield tough, insoluble, and infusible unions. In, <laughs> in its basic form, love surprised approximately 13 draw drafts of all energy that is derived from relationships. Its role and value in society at large are controversial. The Dwemer were vexed at these words and tried to hide behind their power symbols. They sent their Atronachs to remove the egg image from their cave and placed it within the simulacrum they had made of Vivek's mother. A Dwemer said, We Dwemer are only aspirants to this that the Velothi have. They shall be our doom in this and the eight known worlds, Nern, Lakan, Raket, Thender, Kurnt, Hakat, Mara, and Junal. The secret to doom is within this sermon. Sermon, the ending of the words is Almsivi. You are a crazy mofo. Okay, I'm gonna stop here because I'm tired and my throat is a little bit raw. Is that a mark ring? No, okay. I mean, it is, but we're gonna switch to... <sighs> I'd like to get over there and grab all those books before I have to get out of here, but we'll we'll see what happens. We shall see. But anyway, guys, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. What is your guys' unique pause moment for today? Uh, for me... You know, I had one. Oh, yeah, I guess... um. For some reason, YouTube recommended to me this guy uh, in television, dude. And he was playing 
a really old... Well, I mean, he plays in television games, apparently. Which, if you're not aware of what Intellivision is, it's one of the original gaming consoles before the Nintendo. This is before the video game crash, actually. This was like... Um, one of the... I think Pong was on ColecoVision, but it was right around that same time. It was... Pong came out and people were like, this is amazing. And then all these other companies tried to make their own consoles. And... It basically became this huge fad. Everyone was putting out games because they were trying to cash in on the fad. And then... They just put out shovelware. And people were like, oh, whatever. And it crashed. This is presumably the same era of the pet rock so fads were i mean i'm not going to say they're more common than they are today but who knows regardless you're talking pre video game crash stuff um but i'm kind of curious about that sort of thing i i really wonder in the era of you know, we're sort of in cancel culture and man, all these corporations and the government, everyone wants to control what you're what you're capable of doing and seeing. How, I mean, really, how long until it becomes you just can't play a game because they've decided that you just can't play it. You know, it's like even something stupid like this person said this way back in the day, therefore you can no longer play this game or we're banning this game or, you know, you know, it, it's how long until they have literal control over what you can do on your computer? Because I think that's coming. Um, and I, I sort of look at some of these, some games like that. I mean, maybe not that old, but you know, maybe that's going to be the only way we're going to be able to play video games soon because I mean, unless you want them to watch what you're doing and... Oh, he didn't say, you know, you, you, like, what was it, McDonald's? Or, or someone said that, uh, Microsoft maybe. They wanted to do the Microsoft Connect, where they let you skip the commercial if you, you know, commercial about McDonald's and you're like, I will buy McDonald's and then it skips the commercial. And so it's conditioning you to consume the product. It's attempting to manipulate your behavior. How long until you have to do that stuff? How long until, you know, the only movies that are able to be watched is these woke, you know, Black Annie or, you know, the new Little Mermaid that's... Oh, the Little Mermaid was always black. I don't know what you're talking about because they've banned the original. Or, or, you know? And you have to make statements along those lines like China's social credit system or... You know? It's... It's madness. But... I... I really find those old video games interesting because they had to make do with... Not, you know... At least not the shovel... Not the shovelware ones. The ones that not hold up, but the ones that are still considered games, you know? Like Temple of Apshai for the whichever system. You know, it might have been not even 8-bit graphics, 2-bit or 4-bit graphics or whatever, but um, it came with a book that would tell you, you know, room whatever, and you'd turn to that page in the book and you'd read about what's in the room and you'd be like, oh, okay, well, I need to worry about spiders in this room, so I better have my my po my anti-poison stuff ready or, or whatever. Um, you know, it's... I find that stuff really interesting. It's really interesting from a, you know, video game history perspective. Um, but, uh, yeah, Intellivision dude. So, I don't know. I don't know. If, I mean, maybe I'll watch more of his stuff. Maybe I won't. It depends. But uh, it was interesting. It was an interesting, interesting watch. Um, that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully, your guys just as good, if not better. Hopefully, better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time.
Till then, guys, take care.